crowd can sense it, can't they? They are up on their feet. Here comes Josh Price. The crowd. Oh, can he pull off the move? They are on their feet. Their man, Josh Rice, goes back to back in the route late the Memorial. For the 40th time, we embark to Florence Speedway for the Sunoco Race Fuels North South 100. One of the most iconic races our sport has to offer at the geographic epicenter for late model racing, Florence Speedway. From Bloomquist to Owens to T Mac to Overton, the winner's list goes on and on, a race that every driver wants to add to their trophy case. The biggest win of his career! The crowd goes nuts! Oh, he doesn't do it! He had him momentarily! Up here's the slide, it comes! Here it comes! Hey, thanks for life! The crowd erupts! But what makes this race so damn special is the freaking vintage moment. Who could forget a kid from Illinois and Darren Miller holding off a late charging Scott Bloomquist by a car length? And how about the O Show? Jimmy Owens throwing the Hail Mary on Earl Pearson Jr. in the 2010 version of the race. And oh yeah, 2013 was pretty special when Don O'Neill went back to back. The Masters Bill House car of Don O'Neill has won the Snowco North South 100 presented by Lucas Oil in back to back years. He takes the checkers first. Need I remind you of the loudest I ever heard a racetrack when Eddie Carrier Jr. took the checkers in 2014? One for the ages. Carrier right on him. Eddie on the bottom, out of two, and Owens go to the wall. Owens go to the wall. Carrier retakes the lead. Four to go, and Owens is in trouble. Owens is in trouble. He may have a flat tire. Jimmy Owens has a flat tire. The biggest win of his career goes to Eddie Carrier Jr. He did it. 2015, you betcha, the year of the Superman. Rolling off turn three and four. He'll slide up to the wall. Jonathan Davenport. 17 years after his father won, Oakwood, Illinois driver Bobby Pierce joined his dad as the only father-son duo to win the event. Oh, you betcha, he was beating the boards down. 18 to go. Bloomquist better look out. Bobby Pierce, the 19-year-old down the base right away. Bobby Pierce hasn't taken that thing more than three feet from the wall all night long, and he looks for the inside pass. Now Bloomquist down to the middle. Well, Pierce is low, he comes. Here it comes. Hey, takes the lead. The crowd erupts. Pierce takes the lead. Bobby Pierce through three. Bobby Pierce through four. Your North South champion, Bobby Pierce. Another wild finish. You won it. You got it. T-Mac overtook race-long leader Scott Bloomquist on lap 97 while holding off a high-charging Bobby Pierce, giving the Yankees another championship. Bobby Pierce now about three to four. Carling's back in the number three spot. Here comes T-Mac. He's going for the lead. The crowd goes nuts. Oh, he doesn't do it. He had him momentarily. Four to go. Typical Florence. Here comes Pierce. Down the back straightaway. McCready. He'll have to do the crossover. Down the back straightaway. The crowd explodes. McCready takes the lead. On into four. And Tim McCready will win the North South 100. Ricky Weiss shocked the Kentucky crowd in 2018. And smoke. Chris Madden continued his summer hot streak, picking up the 50K payday in 2019. Going for the lead here, 76 laps into this race. Oh my, that was a dead heat right there at the finish line. Madden officially takes the lead on the transponder. Smokey is smoking here tonight in the North-South 100. He picks up his first career victory. Two years ago, McCready picked up his second North-South crown. And just last year, Overton put an exclamation point on the greatest late model season to date, dominating the 39th running of this historic event. It's really unbelievable. I done did it again. Like, I can't, I don't understand it. This year, the stakes are even higher. $75,000 is on the line, making it the richest event in the history of the North-South 100. 
Could it be Florence's firstborn son, Josh Rice? They would burn that place down, that's for sure. Will Madden or JD continue their 2021 dominance? Or will we see a new winner standing in victory lane with James Essex? We are about to find out this week at the 40th annual North South 100 live at Flow Racing. One of your laps, the Pinocchio North South.